is going on everybody? My name is Northy and today we have ourselves, I think, cannot confirm right now, but I think round 14 and round 15 highlights. If not, I think it's round 15 and 16. However, uh, the highlights that I'm going to be opening up today are very, very recent or a lot more recent than what we're used to, I guess, on the channel. We're heading into round 18 and I think round 17 is the latest one that came out with Hugo Ralph, Ralph Smith. So uh, that one and I believe Noah Anderson's has uh, come out. So hopefully we'll be seeing those ones soon. But 14 and 15 is pretty close. We are catching up. We're slowly catching up. And uh, hopefully we'll get some good numbers finally. But still on track. We'll a very, very uh, full collection of highlights this year. So uh, nonetheless, let's start it off. We don't like waffling here. Uh, we like just getting straight into it now. Can we get a different one other than blue though? We get blue so often. We do. Nice. A bit of silver. We'll take some silver. Honestly, just seeing a nice color. Gives me a bit of hope today that uh, maybe things turn out our way, but let's have a look at these ones. It's going to be round 15. It is the round 15 one, so I'm pretty sure with Lachlan Jones and Jack Henry, I'm pretty sure that this one will be the one before 16. So this will be round 16, meaning I don't know where round 14 is, which is scary because I, I don't want to miss out on any... But nonetheless, we got Jack Henry's highlight for his game winner against Richmond. And this very easily could have been Maurice Rioli. That would have been a super sick card too. And Lachlan Jones, I think, no, notably uh, this season, or last season even, he looked like a man-child. He was 18, but he looked like a fully grown man. And not many people were <laughs> expecting it. But here he is. Honestly, quite funny. But uh, nonetheless, we'll start off with Jack Henry for this one. Round 15 of uh, the seven contested possessions. And the two goals, but known for the match winner. Let's have a look at the number. It is 122. Man, I can't find any good numbers, but uh, still a good card. We've got, in his first senior game since suffering a foot injury against... Hawthorne on Easter Monday, the accomplished tall defender was moved forward and became the Geelong Cat last gasp hero with the final score of the match. The go-ahead goal in one of the games of the season against Richmond. Henry's second major came after a brilliant juggle mark over Nick Lawson and the added pressure of teammate Jeremy Cameron also flying for the mark from the opposite direction. Now I remember it was like a facing away from the middle of the ground, facing away from where the ball was, eyes on the ball. It was a beautiful grab, but Jack Henry, definitely a sick card. A super sick card. I love the little picture he's got right there. That's amazing. That looks really, really nice. I'm taking that every day of the week. And then Lachlan Jones, uh, round 15, NAB rising star. What number is he going to be for me? He's number 137. That is pretty much bang on in the middle. I think that's as close as you can other than 138. So we keep getting these middle numbers, man, but... Big bodied utility who plays it with raw ferocity that has quickly endeared him to Port Adelaide fans. After beginning his career across halfback, Jones has been moved to the forward line and his influence in the Power's thrilling two point win over the Gold Coast Suns saw him awarded the round NAB AFL Rising Star goal. Among his 16 disposals, he kicked a first quarter goal, had a team by three goal assists, and eight score involvements overall. So, uh, a pretty much bang in the middle card. Eh, it's alright, but at least the cards look good. I really like this Jack Henry card. It looks really, really nice, but we're going to move on from him now and round 15, which probably means this is round 16, and I got a message select about where round 14 will be, because I don't think this is round 14. I think this is round 16. We will find out, but... It's another silver. I'll quickly double check. And it is round 16. Yes. Which means Cody Waitman and whoever round 14's highlight... Uh, sorry, Rising Star was, is missing. It's missing. We can't have any of that. But uh, we move this one out. And this Mitch George artist, I like the Port Adelaide Massimo. That's right. We had the round 16 uh, Rising Star, the Essendon Young Gun. Interesting stuff. And then the Mark of the Year contender. I'll tell you what. I think I underrate how nice these highlights can look sometimes. And there's Hayden Young looking along as uh, he took a mark of the year contender not long after this round. But round 16 highlight goes to Mitch Geordie. Georgiades, the two goals and the 12 disposals. Nothing too crazy. We'll have a check at his number first. It is number 51. Another 275. I think that's the exact same that Lachlan Jones had. So that's interesting. But number 51 for Mitch Georgiades. We'll take it. Port Adelaide left Optus Stadium without the premiership points after a cracking contest against the Fremantle Dockers, but key four Georgiades may have won the mark of the year after taking a sensational grab by leaping on the left shoulder of 195cm Brennan Cox in the final minute of the third quarter. Unfortunately, the 20-year-old missed the set shot, but his enormous mark will be on the highlight, highlight rears reels for years to come. It makes a it makes a pretty poor situation for Port seem awesome. <laughs> I'll give him that, but a nice card nonetheless, and 
nearly horizontal in the air. That's a pretty nice mark. But uh, now we go to the Rising Star. Massimo D'Ambrios, D'Ambrosio, I think that's how it's said. I'm not too sure. I haven't paid too much attention to Essendon this this year, but a uh, nice name. I like it. Massimo is usually how people go, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be the same. But round 16, he is going to be number 177. That's a lot. 308. That's a lot of cards. All right, Massimo. The overall number three pick at the mid-season rookie draft a month ago has hit the ground running in his AFL career and picked up a NAB AFL Rising Star nomination in just his third game after starring in Essendon's upset come-from-behind win over the Sydney Swans. Possessing a damaging left boot, the running halfback had 23 disposal at 78% efficiency, including four intercepts as his class and composure shone through. I forgot that he was a mid-season pickup. Oh, man, that's even better for Essendon. Yeah, that's super cool. But nonetheless, two decent-looking cards. Only disappointing thing, I don't know where Cody Waveman is and the round 14 rising star. They're just not, they've just not shown up. I don't know what's up with that, but hopefully we can try and work that out soon. I hope they haven't been lost in post because if that's the case, I've spent money and never got it, which is really, really annoying. You don't want to see it. Hopefully it switches up soon, but nonetheless, that's pretty good. Uh... Decent card, not really decent numbers, and that seems to be the story for the highlights and rising stars. But now, we've got 12 packs of footy stars. Let's get straight into those. What is going on, everybody? My name is Northy, and we have 12 more packs of footy stars 2022 to get through here today. Very, very good start to this fresh new box that we've got in the pack here. 12 packs are not going to include um, a card over box odds because we got it in the last episode. However, loads of boxes we can still get. One of the big cards we ended up getting was a beautiful Gold Coast Suns Spectrum Redemption number two, which had both Matt Rowell and Noah Anderson. That is a ripper one to pull. Obviously, number two is players who have not played to 50 games. So zero to 50 games played is the um, restriction for number two. And Matt Rowell and Noah Anderson fit perfectly into there. So... Beautiful pull there. Um, we also got our numbers card, which was Liam Ryan. And only one of our 30th year seal cards. So there's a lot up for grabs in these next no uh, 12 packs of Footy Stars 2022. However, I'm not going to talk too much more. You guys just want to see what we got here today. But let's see how we do. Pack number one. Ripping straight into it. Let's hope for some good stuff. But uh, as per usual, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Everything is always super appreciated. I just got to remind myself to let people know at the start because... These are the statistics at the moment for um, how we're doing in terms of viewers who are subscribed to viewers who are not subscribed. So let's try and get that subscribe percentage up as much as possible. But we've got Ebony Marinoff to start, Tom Hawkins, Tom Liberatore, Trent Koch, and starting this one off with a North Melbourne Taryn Thomas purple foil card. Beautiful. Love a North. We love our North card. But yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that all of you, all of you are subscribing. Uh, I know that not pe many people like hearing it all the time, but uh, sometimes you just got to mention it. Maybe they do enjoy your content, haven't subscribed, and uh, with a little heads up, then go ahead and subscribe. But nonetheless, we'll stop rambling on about that. Who really cares for the most part? But at the moment, love and opening up Select. Select has just been so nice for me over the last few months. It it's been unreal. Uh, and hopefully with their new set coming out. I have no clue when their new set's coming out at the time of recording this. However, it's been a while since Prestige. You never know. Maybe, maybe not. We've got Zach Tui to start here, though. Um, Dyson Heppel. Liam Jones. Kirsty Lamb. And we've got ourselves a milestone. It's going to be Liam Jones. 150 games. Not playing many games anymore, unfortunately. But uh, Liam Jones, a nice handy milestone. Don't know if I've got it off the top of my head, but... Nice. We take cards, especially if they're new. I'm trying to get more into the method of actually organizing my album because I do either have, or I've already updated, giving you guys an album update, or my plan is to do it very soon. Not too sure, but um, let's just say I got feedback. I got feedback, and uh, yeah, you guys are definitely interested. We got Nick Natnui, Shane McAdam, Q McCluggage, Gary Rowan, and looks like a Game Breakers of Jack Rewalt. Nice. We will take that for sure. 450 game breaker, Jack Rewalt. Always good to see some Richmond players. Richmond cards, they, they stay at a ridiculous price. Even after um, the Dynasty, I'd imagine, is over. I'm not too sure. That may be a hot take or it may just be an incorrect opinion. Who knows what time you're watching this. You can come back and make fun of me as much as you want if it's wrong. But I don't see Richmond winning another one for, for a while. But they're a good side. They're a really good side. We've got Chris Parkas, Trelaw. Rampy, 
Vloston, and we've got ourselves a James Rowbottom Starburst. Ugh, I still can't stand the Starburst, but I don't know. Richmond are kind of in their awkward position again. Obviously, three premierships. That's something you, you'll never forget as a Richmond fan. Three premierships in four years is just amazing. But I don't know. They're kind of in that limbo again where they're stuck in the in the top eight, but not really a threat to make it. And obviously, last year didn't go to plan through injuries and all sorts, but... Hopefully uh, that changes up and they can play at full strength. The good thing is they've got a lot of young players. Ooh! We've got a box here, baby. It's for Brisbane. A contender for this season, so it's nice to see a Brisbane. This has got... I feel like this has Hugh McCluggage written all over it. Am I correct? I'm very cor incorrect. That's not correct. Jared Lyons, number 10, though. That's a good box hit. Number 10. When you see Brisbane, you know things may be good. Jared Lyons, that's a beautiful pull. With a Jaeger Amira. Jaeger Amira. I'm always going to say both names. I can't remember how to pronounce them. But wow, that's a nice pull. Jared Lyons, number 10. Look at the cat eye oh, refractor board. Absolutely beautiful. I love that the light, it, it, it's so well placed to kind of just reflect the card. It's super nice. I love it. It looks so good. But let's see what number our Jared Lyons uh, classified card is. It's going to be number 129. No big number there, unfortunate. But uh, on another note, Brisbane, will they finally be able to uh, beat the heat of the finals? I'm so interested to see whether this year they finally go far. A lot of people are expecting a grand final from them. And I think I expect them to reach a grand final this year. It's almost like that's their, that's their passing grade for this year. They don't have to win it all. Melbourne do exist. They do have a very good chance at um, popping them off. But you think... That this year has to be Brisbane's year, if any. We've got Andrew Gaff to start this one off. Ali Anderson, Tim English, Cam Guthrie, and a purple foil. It's going to be Tyler Hanks of the Melbourne Demons. Nice. But yeah, I'm interested to see whether Brisbane finally take that step. Because they've had two out of, a, out of like four years that they've been knocked out in straight sets. One when they had Luke Hodge around, and two last year, their two losses in the in the finals to bounce them straight out. That was it was tough to watch because I feel like they have to make that step soon. Uh, but we got Harry Mackay to start this one off. James Rowe, Oscar McInerney, uh, Callum Mills, and Purple Foil. It's Jack Rewald again. There's another Jack Rewald. Beautiful stuff. Because although I think Brisbane have maintained greatness for as long as Richmond have, Richmond have just been able to capitalize and make the most out of the years they've been so good for. And Melbourne look like they're on their way of doing that as well. Brisbane, I feel like they could have been as good as those guys. I feel like there's a chance. I don't think their window's closed. I don't think anyone's windows are technically closed. I think Richmond is the closest to closing, but you wouldn't call them closed. You would still say there's a good chance they can make a good run, but I'd say it's a lot less unlikely that Richmond win compared to any of the other teams right now. Uh, but we've got Dusty to start, speaking of. Ellie Blackburn, Jake Stringer, uh, Harris Andrews, and we've got ourselves a milestone. I thought it was a big card there for some reason. We've got Tom Phillips. Tom Phillips, very underrated player in the country. To, uh, to, to pull his 100 game milestone man i kind of put it into perspective nowadays milestone games they're, they're a lot harder than uh, any afl fan would think because playing any games in the afl is hard to do in the first place and then playing a hundred of them is just tough to get to everything you feel like everything has to go right if you want to get to triple triple digits sometimes so kate luckins aaron norton shane edwards Dylan Shield, and we've got another women's one. We've got Rhiannon Watt of the St. Kilda Saints. I don't think they did too good in the AFLW season, but AFLW season seven is coming around. We can't really call it 2022 because 2022's already had an AFLW season. But uh, 18 teams, really exciting. Interesting to see how the, the players react to two seasons in one year because I'd imagine for season eight uh, in 2023, they try and stick to one season in a year. I'd imagine so. But um, hopefully, they can now with 18 teams, they can get a full proper season going because they do often have to, you know, cut seasons short with um, like 10 or 11 games, which is not what you want to do. I feel like they need more games during a season. It's just good that they're managing to run two seasons in a year, I guess, considering that'll give them a fair amount of games throughout the year. But we've got Keys, Dangerfield, McGovern, Jack Martin, and Game Breakers. We've got Marcus Bontempelli. That's a beautiful one. I'm taking that for sure. Nice. Great Game Breakers card. Moving on though, second last pack here. And uh, this has been a nice video. Um, we got the box here, but we're also just talking AFL. It's what I love to do. 
discussing everything in general, but we got Kate Lufkins to start. Aaron Norton, this looks familiar to a different pack. Shane Edwards. Uh, oh, 30 year seal. Beautiful. We got a 30 year seal Dyson Heppel. And we've got a Lockie Schultz. And I thought this was a glitch pack. No. Dyson Heppel, 30 year seal. Nice to see. I'll chuck him here. And a Lockie Schultz. Uh, Starburst. Getting our second 30 year seal in this box so far. And then the rest we don't we don't mind. But I really just pulled one from the box. Uh, but one thing that I'm really happy with is that uh, the uh, purple foil head card that we got in the last episode, in the last Saturday video, um, that one ended up being a double. So I actually do have a purple foil header card, which means I can trade that to some of you guys if you're interested. But uh, we're starting this last pack off with Ben Keys. We've got Ben Keys, Paddy Dangerfield. This again is a familiar start. Jeremy McGovern. Jack Martin, the exact same four cards as one of the other packs, and it's looking like a Starburst. Another Ben Keys, who I think I don't have. That's actually a sick ball. I'm keen on that. I don't think I have him. I'm missing an Adelaide player, and I'm pretty sure it's him, because I've got a Shatter Starburst that, that's at the top of one of my piles of cards that I've just got lying around, and I'm almost certain that, that I've been meaning to try and find one of his cards, but I got him now, which is great. We'll, ta we'll take that every single day of the week, but a pretty good video, I'd say. We've got the box hit, number 10, uh, class of five, we got Jared Lyons. That's 100% a good ball. Um, we got a Dyson Heppel, 30 year seal. Again, don't know though if we have him already. It's kind of hard to tell now with 30 year seals. I just know Caleb Daniel because he's pretty, pretty common. But then a bunch of nice inserts in throughout here. The beautiful looking um, milestones, game breakers, purple floors. Not so beautiful starbursts, but it's all right. We keep it moving. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Everything is always very much appreciated. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.